guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in let's go ahead and get the colorful elephant out of the room I will be reviewing this unit that I have on here and this is from RPG show I have not done a review for RPG show in about two years so I was super excited when they wanted me to review their pre plucked units and um, they have been working with wig designers lately so I got a wig from Anthony cuts you may be familiar with him um, from Instagram and such um, so this unit is the Anthony Cuts unit 012. It is silky, the same color as the picture. Um, and the unit did not come like this, but I will definitely show you how I got to this point. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. It took some time, but I think I did a really good job, especially with the hairline and just tacking it down really, really well. Um, and of course, I'm going to mention all the specs and everything, you guys. I hope you enjoy this color on me I have to get used to it it is pretty light and it gets even lighter towards the ends so yeah what do you guys think about this color but if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this whole entire style then stick around because this video is gonna be just for you So here is the packaging you guys now RPG show has definitely stepped up their packaging the box is very hard if you're familiar with like designer shoes or something like that it is that material so that is amazing now this is um, what you get in the box so you're gonna get the netting that the wig came in my wig is already out um, and the wig also came in a little bag like this which is really nice a nice place to store your wig so they have replaced those regular Ziploc bags and give and have given you a garment bag so that's really nice you're also gonna get wig caps now these wig caps are really good because they do not have those netted holes in them which I do not like um, and honestly I've never worn a wig cap under a wig before but today I may try it just because it seems to be close to my skin tone um, and you get two of these and these look like medium brown or something like that I'm sure it comes according to the lace color that you chose you will also get a brush and they have changed their brushes as well. This reminds me of like the Tangle Teaser. So let's go ahead and open this. So this is the brush right here. Pretty nice. Um, like I said, it reminds me of a Tangle Teaser. You will also receive ear tape, but it's not really tape. It is an elastic band. And if you are familiar with wearing lace front uh, wigs or full lace wigs, you know a lot of people love to use the elastic band in the back. And I usually do that as well. So we're going to see if we're going to need this as well. And one of the only things that have not changed is this magazine that you will receive. It just has like a lot of different YouTubers and different models in here showing how they wear their wigs. Um, just different little features, things like that, how long the wigs last blah 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 so that's a nice little insert there if you're interested and last but not least this is the unit here and as you can see we are going blonde and I'm pretty excited because I have not tried this unit on yet so we're gonna be doing it together okay so gorgeous 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 unit so far so let's go ahead and get into the specs of the unit. So you will receive this little card here and it's going to tell you all of your details. So mine is the Anthony Cuts 012 wig. Um, the texture is silky. It is 18 inches. The hair color is the same as the picture um, and I will insert that. Also, I got a cap size one just because I like for mine to fit really snug, but you will need to measure your head to make sure that you are getting the correct size cap. Um, the cap construction is cap B, lace front wig cap, and this is also glueless, so it does have combs and everything inside of the um, unit, and I will show you guys that as well. Um, and the lace color that I got is medium brown because I am a medium brown girl. So, on to the wig. Now, this is the unit. This is how it comes. Now, the only thing that I have done is I went ahead and bleached those knots simply because this is a blonde unit I wanted it to look as natural as possible and I will insert a clip as to how it looked 
uh, when I first took it out of the package but I realized that I definitely needed to bleach those knots just to get a more realistic look um, and I just washed the unit so this is what we have here it did come already styled and everything which is really really good if you plan on wearing it straight out of the box one thing I did notice that because they curled the unit and they wanted those curls to stay right out of the packaging it was a little dry it seemed like they had put some holding spray on there but after washing it it does not feel as dry so that's really good um, I'm gonna take this little brush here and I'm gonna brush through it let's just see if we're getting shedding okay so we did get some shedding I don't know if you guys can see that but it is a decent amount of shedding I'll pull it out and the thing about this is you can definitely tell in this little brush because it's black so this is what we got as far as shedding can you guys see that I don't think you can but this is what we got it's a few strands right there so we did get a little bit of shedding but that's normal um, so in order to prep my hair for the unit I just gelled all of my hair back now I do have some old braids and I went ahead and washed them um, because I just didn't feel like rebraiding my hair but I washed my hair and let it air dry and then I gelled my hair back and that's why I have this scarf on just to make sure that everything is out of the way because I will be um, adhering this lace wig down so let's go ahead and take that off and as you can tell, I have gelled back all of my baby hairs because I have baby hairs that are pretty far down on my forehead, but I do not want those um, to be out because I want to adhere this. So I have not cut the lace off of this unit. So let's just go ahead and try it on to see what it's looking like. Okay, so this is my first time putting this thing on. Now, let's see. All right, so I'm going to push everything back because I want to see the hairline. So this is one of their pre-plucked frontals and I'm going to pull it all the way down just so that you guys can see what the hairline looks like on skin because I haven't cut the lace yet. So you can see that the hairline is pre-plucked. It doesn't look bad and we may just stick with that because honestly, I don't feel like plucking this. Um, but the fit is pretty good, seemingly. Color is gorgeous. They really did a nice uh, job on the coloring and it blends really well. Usually there is a, a line of demarcation, but I'm not seeing that here. It looks really nice. Uh, maybe a little splotchy right there, but that's about it. So now that I know that the unit fits me pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off the unit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put the wig back on now that I've cut the lace and I'm just doing another adjustment just to make sure that everything fits properly. I'm going to stick that comb under there, make sure I have my ear tabs good. This one is a little long seemingly. So I may need to cut this because it seems like it's coming down too long on that side. So I'm just going to cut, a, take this off and I'm going to cut a little bit more. See that's the thing, you have to constantly adjust to make sure that this fits your head right. So here I'm going to be taking the Got To Be Glued Ultra Gel. This is the black one. And I'm also going to be taking the Gorilla Snot and I'm going to apply that to my entire hairline in the front. And that's how I'm going to secure my lace wig down. Now just to speed up the process a little bit, I'm going to be taking my blow dryer on a cool setting and just uh, drying the hairline down until it is tacky to the touch. So here I'm just taking my toothbrush and brushing all of my baby hairs back and now I'm going to apply the unit. Now I did apply this from the Nape 
to the front and that is going to ensure the best fit. So now I'm just pulling it forward on my hairline and laying it right on that got to be glued gel and that Gorilla Snot to adhere it down to my hairline. And because this is not glue, I can put it around my hairline with my baby hairs there and I will not lose any hair. So that is amazing. And I'm also going to take that blow dryer once again just to make sure that everything is sticking properly and um, just to speed up the process a little bit because this can take a little bit of time. And as you can see, I've pulled out my rat tail comb because I don't wanna put my fingers on that glue. It can tend to turn a little bit white when you do that. So go ahead and just put your um, rat tail comb and just rub it all around the hairline ensuring that everything is tacked down securely. So tying down your hair is very crucial. So I went ahead and tied it down and as you can see after taking off that scarf the hairline is really laid down flat and I tied it down for about 15 to 20 minutes and like I said it's very crucial. So now I'm just combing that hair out of the glue because I don't really want any baby hairs this go round. Um, I'm sure as the unit gets older I may pull out a few baby hairs but right now it looks pretty good without. So now I'm just gonna go through the parting just to show you guys the parting space. And it looks okay, but I do think I wanna do a little bit of tweaking there. So I've just pulled out my handy dandy tweezers and now I'm gonna tweeze away at that part just to my desire. I don't like a really thick part because I do feel like it brings a lot of attention to the hair line and just the wig itself. Um, and we don't wanna do that. Even though this one looks pretty natural, it is still a lace wig, so it's not going to look like your hair. But I also don't want to tweak it so much that it looks like it's balding because the whole point of having a unit is to look like you have a full head of healthy hair. So now I'm just taking that brush and brushing through the hair once more just to make sure that I get all of the loose hair that I tweezed out. Um, otherwise it will tangle and we don't want that. So now as you can see I'm just messing around with the hairline making sure that everything looks good to my liking. And I do want to cut a few sideburns in there so I'm just going to cut a very thin sideburn on the side that I'm going to wear it behind my ear just to have a little bit of something hanging down. So now I'm gonna go in with my Cream of Nature Styling Foam and this is from the Argan Oil line. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my hands and put that right over the parting area just to lay down all the flyaways to get a really nice smooth and shiny finish all around the hairline. I really do love this product just because it makes your hair look so beautiful and shiny. So this is how it looks after that mousse has set into the hair. As you can see, it just looks really nice and shiny. Um, I'm absolutely loving this unit, I have to admit, you guys. So I'm just messing around with it again, just making sure everything looks the way that I want it to. Um, I do like a little bit of volume in the front, um, so that's what I'm doing there. Just combing through it, making sure there's no tangles. Um, and seeing if I kind of want to cut this a little bit, I'm just seeing how the wig looks. And also I'm showing you guys the hairline once more. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good. That one side there is a little bit lower than I would like, but I'm not mad at it because it's very secure, so it looks pretty good. And I can pull it up if I'd like to, and I won't look too crazy. I probably would need to do a little bit of baby hair there. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving the hair. So now I'm just going to go in with my flat iron and I'm going to flat iron the unit just to make it a little bit more sleek. Um, and we're just going to speed through this process because you guys know flat ironing is easy as one, two, three. So this is how the unit looks after it has been flat ironed and you can also see the true length. And it's pretty long for 18 inches but I do want more of a blunt cut so I'm just going to go in with my scissors and just cut it straight across. And I'm showing you guys again the parting. Um, the hairline, just the hair itself, how shiny it looks, even though it has been colored. It looks absolutely amazing, not damaged or anything like that. So that's a really good thing. A little bit of blotchiness in the color right there on that side, but otherwise I'm loving it. So now I'm just going to go in and add a few little curls in there just to see how the unit curls. 
um, and I'm gonna be taking I think this is a one and one fourth inch barrel iron from Wigo and I'm gonna go, go ahead and curl that um, this is one of my favorite curling irons I've had it for years you guys so this is pretty much how the unit looks after I have slayed it to oblivion and I'm not gonna even lie to you guys the unit wasn't really difficult to work with but today I was just having an off day it took me forever to like get the unit you know tacked down and everything so it was definitely a process but I will say that it's worth it as far as the hairline and everything looks it looks absolutely amazing and I don't have a teensy wincy bit of, bit of my hair out every bit of my hair is pulled back so this is all wig so I think it looks pretty pretty good one thing I will say about the unit is that you will get some shedding I'm not sure if it's because of the pre plucking and you know all of that but I did get some shedding when I brushed through it and of course you know I showed you guys that um, but other than that it's not really bad I don't have any tangling so far but it doesn't feel super for moisturized I would say and I did condition it but I didn't deep condition it don't get me wrong it's soft hair but um, you can tell it's been processed with color so it can tend to get a little bit dry I'm sure right now it's pretty silky because I flat ironed it and everything but I would probably suggest after wearing this a couple times you definitely need to deep condition it just to make sure that it stays really nice and intact um, I don't really have any cons about the unit. The unit was definitely wearable right outside of the box. However, for me, my skin tone, my preference, um, I decided to do a little bit of tweaking as you guys saw. But yeah, you guys, I'm absolutely loving this unit and I will say this is by far the best unit that I have ever received, period, okay? Um, if you wanted to wear it out of the box, like I said, you could just do that. No tape, no glue, no got to be. You could just adjust those straps and go and you will still look amazing. Now, if you are like me and you are picky, then you could do a little bit here and there to it. But you don't have to be in such a rush before you're able to debut your unit, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this detailed tutorial and review on this unit. Um, I'm absolutely loving it it's, as far as the construction and everything. But what do you guys think about the color? This is really light for me. I'm not mad at it though. I mean, what do you guys think about this light blonde color on a brown girl? Um, I'm not mad at it. It does take some getting used to. But yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy it and I don't feel embarrassed to walk outside of the house, you know, with the color on. So I think that's a good positive first step. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you have any questions for me, definitely leave those in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. Of course, I will leave every single detail in the description bar for you guys, just so that you can see everything that I use, get all the specs for the unit and a coupon code for this unit as well. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you girls on my next one. Bye.